sometimes the hardest part is just starting. And if you've ever wanted to make healthy changes in your life but just didn't know where to begin, then this is the video for you. And just keep watching. Hey guys, my name is Katie and I am a registered dietitian nutritionist here today to talk to you about how to go about making healthier changes in your life and how to begin. Just jumping right into it, the best way to get started eating healthfully is to start small and start simple. If you try to come up with too many goals or too lofty of goals at the beginning, then you're just going to wear yourself down and you're not going to feel empowered by reaching smaller goals goals and then eventually getting to your big picture large goal. This could be something along the lines of if you're new to running, making the goal of running five miles a day. When you fail to reach that goal the first week or two, you're going to be discouraged and you're going to feel fatigued. You're not going to feel prepared for that because you didn't work your way slowly up to it and then you're going to eventually give up. Of course, everyone's a little bit different, so some people might be okay with jumping to loftier goals quicker, but typically we want to start small and go bigger eventually. Something for that goal could be going to the C2 5k app, if you guys have ever heard of that, and starting by doing walking and running intervals. Sorry, my nose itches. <laughs> and then going to eventually slowly every week, progressively having longer sprints and shorter walking intervals till you get to your 5k goal. Nose it is so bad when I have the camera on. You have to be willing to kind of be patient with yourself and I know that's one of the biggest barriers for a lot of the clients that I talk to is they want to jump in right away and get their goal knocked out. They want to lose the weight and it just doesn't happen overnight and that's the truth. An example of a nutrition goal could be adding one piece of fruit. Hi Kobe. <laughs> adding one piece of fruit to... You're so lovey. You're so lovey. He likes to love on me when I'm filming. So an example of a nutrition goal would be adding a piece of fruit to each day or adding one or two vegetable servings per day. That could be your smaller veggie goal. And then eventually you can move up to having two more servings per day of fruits and veggies. And then you know, progressively change your goal based on what you're doing well and maybe what you haven't improved upon and just be flexible with it. Speaking of fruits and veggies, my number two plan of attack is to focus on adding more fruits and vegetables. It can be easy to think about all the things that we want to take away from our diet to restrict and to lose weight. We focus on the losing part and not so much the gaining part and what we could add to ourselves and what we can improve upon. We want to focus on, unfortunately, the negatives. And that's not the best way to go about starting a new goal. You want to focus on the positives. So we can add fruits and vegetables and naturally that kind of pushes out the more unhealthy options that we might choose otherwise. So the recommendation for fruits and veggies that we should have a day is at least five servings of fruits and veggies. So at least two of those being fruit and then three of those being veggies. I know that that's a very hard goal for many and even I don't always get in my veggie goals, I'm pretty bad sometimes with veggies, but it's something that I continuously work on even as a registered dietitian. So if that gives you guys an idea of how we are all human and it's okay that you don't always get in perfect amounts of veggies, I hope that makes you feel a little bit better. But as I said, we're always continuing to make progress with these things and I am working on my own goals personally. I will link below to an article about the fruit and veggie recommendations if you have any questions on those. Tip number three on how to eat healthier starting today is to cut down on sugar sweetened beverages or just cut them out entirely. I have never been a huge fan of soda so I was a very blessed child. I wasn't exposed much to soda at an early age. Thank you mom and dad. That hasn't been a huge struggle for me but I know that a lot of people do drink this and they've been you know having it since they were a kid so I understand where the struggle is. The only issue with sodas is 
that there's no benefit to them it's just sugar so you're not doing good things for your body your teeth or you know your calorie intake per day i talked to an old co-worker of mine that really wanted to lose weight and they were like katie i have no idea where to start i don't know what i'm doing wrong and i don't know what i can improve and i asked them do you drink soda and their response was well yeah i do i have it like a couple times a day and then I was like well so how many times a day what does that look like and we found out that they were drinking over 1500 calories in soda just in one day and from that I just told them to at least cut back by half of that for now and they'd be losing weight before they knew it not that it's all just about weights but definitely just considering your health and wellness overall soda does not have those benefits for you so that's one thing that you can cut out today tip number four to get started eating healthily is to figure out what your calorie needs actually are we have a lot of my fitness pal and different calculators that figure what we need in a day but i find that my fitness pal oftentimes goes a little bit low on the calorie recommendations others can be inaccurate or we just assume what we should be having per day one equation that i've learned in my schooling and that i've always kind of turned to when calculating calorie needs is mifflin saint jour and to save you some time from having to google that i'll just link it below and you guys can figure your own calories one thing i will warn is just make sure to go on the lower end of estimating your activity because a lot of times we overestimate our activity and then we when we put that into the equation then we end up with a large number larger than what we actually need so go on the lower end and use your intuition if it seems too high or too low then you can cut back or add accordingly or kind of mess with the calculation itself but it is just a guesstimation if you are looking to maintain weight then that would be the number that you want to eat per day and then if you are looking to lose weight you would cut back by a couple hundred calories basically you just want to make sure that you're giving your body the nourishment and needs and definitely not going below 1200 calories because you don't want to have any nutrition deficiencies and you want to be fueling your body and your muscles and your bones and basically just needing your body energy so it can function at its best every day. Tip number five is to learn to read labels. Now labels can seem a little bit complicated to some but actually they're pretty simple. So on the nutrition label you're going to find calories, protein, fat, carbohydrates, and then all the main nutrients that are in the food. Um, not, it's not going to list every single nutrient, but just kind of the top ones that the USDA looks at in foods and then also the ingredient list. A lot of times a good rule of thumb is if it has a giant list of ingredients, then it might not be something that you want to pick up, but it all kind of depends on what your philosophies are on foods. You know, some foods have tons of ingredients, um, but they're a little more healthier than others, so you kind of have to use your discretion, and that's where labels can get a little bit complicated. But typically, if we focus our diet on foods that don't require labels, such as fruits and veggies, then we can have some packaged foods within our diet with a relatively small list of ingredients that are still healthy for us. And then just use the nutrition facts like maybe protein or fat or fiber. Evaluate if that's the type of food that you want and what kind of foods that you could pair with it to have a balanced healthy meal. Also I want to note that I don't want you guys to obsess over the labels. It's really good to look at the labels in the beginning to learn how many calories are in certain foods and what nutrition looks like in foods but hopefully the focus can be more on how balanced it is and not quite how you know how many calories it is in the sense that you're just obsessively tracking it. It's a hard balance to have and it's something that even I still struggle with but all in all we want to focus on balance rather than just calories but it is good to learn what kind of things are in your foods and approximately how many calories are in certain foods if you're trying to attain a goal such as weight loss or weight management. Tip number six and my final healthy tip for getting started is to find accountability. I think accountability is just so important because when it comes to making a new change, we really want support from others. And sometimes if we don't find that, we can fall off easily and not get back on the bandwagon, even if we really do want to. We can be motivated internally and sometimes that is enough, but not everyone is the same. Some people really need 
that balance from others and the input from others and they need to kind of have feedback on what they're doing well or encouragement and people are different. Just keep this in mind because some people want the Jillian Michaels type that's gonna motivate them externally and you know tell them to tough it up and keep going and other people are going to want encouragement they're going to want to be told what they do well and or they're going to want a friend to be beside them to, to do similar things that they're doing so maybe you have someone in your life that you can reach out to and ask if they want to go for a walk or if they want to start eat, making healthy recipes with you or sharing recipes with you just finding that support is so so important I really reach out to the Tone It Up community because that's just a community that I've been a part of for a long time and that's really helped me and I know a lot of other girls out there do the same thing as well. Also even just in the dark blue nutrition community, I hope you guys can find each other and talk to each other, maybe share goals that you're working on. If you're working on a current goal right now, then I'd love to hear about it in the comments. That would be a fun question of the day for today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of just wanted to do a back to the basics on what it takes to start a new nutrition goal or start eating healthfully from the beginning. Some of us might be new to this journey and some of us might, you know, tried several things in the past that didn't work, but from whatever background you are, um, let me know in the comments below and let me know what has worked well for you in the past, if you've used these tips before or if you currently use them now. And yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you have any ideas for future videos or any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video.